internet friend, it's Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative and magicbrad.com and I've got Michael LaRocco on. You there, Michael? Yep. So this all came about because we had a little chat on Facebook and I found it fascinating. You did a post on there about uh, the real estate world and real estate agents and how much work they actually really, really have to do to make uh, significant income, right? Yeah, it, it's definitely, it, it's a crazy amount of work what they have to really go through. I mean, just to, if they're talking, each person that they're talking to, they have to do, normally it's about seven touches before you can actually get like a transaction. Like if I were to be cold calling people for marketing, I'd start with the cold email, maybe mm -hmm. send a couple of them, maybe send a postcard, then give them a call. But for real estate, they have to make, it's, I believe it was 32 touches. Um, I believe that nowadays, especially with the social media stuff, people are here, there, and everywhere. And like, I even, like, forgive me for this, but I forgot, I thought you were a different guy because there's two guys that look similar on Facebook and that's what'll happen sometimes. And then I had to all of a sudden recollect, oh, this is the guy that we posted about real estate. But that stuff happens on social media these days. And unless, unless a person is going to go to these certain cocktail parties on a regular basis, and it's, it's no wonder it's 30, 40 touches before someone goes, hmm, I'm thinking about buying a house. Yeah, and that's, that's not even guaranteeing it. It's just what I was reading in the book that I've been reading is it takes 32 touches to get about two sales per person. So if you're um, prospecting 400 people, I mean, what is that? A lot. <laughs> 12,800 touches per year that you have to be going out there, whether you're sending postcards, calling up with or following up with um, emails, phone calls seeing them at parties, just anything like that. I mean, that, that's a lot of touches to be doing it by yourself. So I know when someone first gets into the real estate business, they look at these grandiose numbers of being able to sell a million dollar house or a $500,000 house and knowing they're gonna be compensated with these big numbers. Once everybody starts getting paid, like the bank and the escrow people and the da 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 and all that, pretty soon it's not that big of a percentage and you're not making as much money as you thought you were gonna make. So. I think you are also an advocate of a person starting to build more of a team and uh, like like other people within their group, right? Yep, yep. First person that they should hire is an administrative assistant. So like I kind of explained a little bit is they'll just pretty much document everything that you're doing so that way they can actually build a process so that way you're not trying to build the process yourself because when you are trying to, you can't really look at yourself and see exactly what you're doing on a daily basis to really build a detailed process from point A to point B and then to point C, which is the close. Well, I know that that's a challenge I've always had. I've, I've been entrepreneurial all my life, but and I kind of do my own deal. I try and do my own little graphic design as much as I can. And I end up, you know, I'm, I'm an entrepreneur. I want my hands on everything. And it's really hard to let go and delegate something to somebody else because from what I understand, what you're doing now is you're helping real estate people generate leads and, and go through that whole process thing. And I think sometimes people think, well, I don't want to turn my valuable customers over to this guy to deal with, right? Yep. I've, I've been getting that for the last couple months is they just, they don't want to give up that part of the business and if they were to realize like if, Hey, if I do give this up, I'll save 12,000 touches throughout the year and I'll be getting in the amount of leads that I need to get in and I'll be able to hire the right people because like me, I, I look at myself as I pay for myself right when they hire me because I'm sitting there, I'm bringing leads in and they're, they're just, it, it's bringing them revenue. And I know like if you were to hire like the administrative assistant, not all the time. They, they don't always pay for themselves. Right, because they're just kind of documenting stuff where you're actually proactively putting people through the door. Like if like yeah. if a real estate person wanted to throw a little cocktail party or a little seminar on how to buy your first home or whatever, you can help them drive those people into that room so they yeah. don't have to go out and invite people with flyers and go and get a bunch of things printed and all that kind of thing. Exactly. Even like building a webinar sales funnel so that way they don't even have to go out and rent a room or anything like that right. to have the event. They could just sit there at a computer like we're doing now and they could just go through all the questions that they've been asked prior. Let's say they have like 20 questions that people always ask. 
they just do the whole webinar and go through each question that's been asked and they don't have to leave their they don't have to leave their home office they don't have to leave their regular office and they don't have to have 40 50 people in one room and they can just how old are you i'm 25 okay yeah you well you look a little older than that but i'm 60 i <laughs> i understand this stuff cuz me and uh, my friend Ron, we were talking once about the idea of going to these meetups or, or going to have coffee meetings and driving across town where it, costs, it takes 20 minutes to drive across town. Then you have a chitty chat coffee meeting for an hour and a half and then you drive back home. That's half your day gone. Whereas you could get on and do a video with a cup of coffee and talk about internet marketing and then boost the post to your area and reach 1,000 people in exactly. 10 minutes. <laughs> Some people don't get that. It's yeah, interesting. I, I mean, I was at a mastermind, I think it was a few weeks ago. It's about two or two weeks ago. And I mean, it was about 300 bucks for a ticket. Plus I had to buy my ticket to Florida, had to buy a hotel, had to get a rental car. And I mean, just the list goes on, but that would have been a little bit harder of an event to have like this. But th what he did is he filmed the whole event. Right. And now he's selling the film of the event and everything like that. And he's even asking people to like, hey, send people to my Facebook group. If you send 10 people to my Facebook group, you'll get the recording for free. It's interesting that even at your age, you use the word film. Yeah. <laughs> I know no there's film. not even any film in a camera. <laughs> <laughs> I still remember having to put the rolls in a camera, though. So I'm not, I'm not too, too old or too young. Yeah, back when I was uh, doing internet marketing, I was saving my databases on a cassette tape. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> back when I was a kid. Yeah, things have changed. I mean, it's pretty fascinating how when someone like yourself knows these certain tools to be able to create this funnel. Like some people say, what the hell is a funnel? It used to be yeah. called a pipeline. Yep. Now it's a funnel. I mean, I've heard never, never use the terms funnel when you're actually selling the product just be, or the service, just because one, people don't know what it is and people don't buy when they're confused. And you really want to, you really want to show them like, Hey, you know, I'm, I'm going to save you time. I'm going to save you money and I'm going to save you frustration because you're not going to have to go out and find the leads yourself. I mean, you will have to go do some cocktail parties here and there, but you're not going to have to do as many because I mean, if you have a, say you have a 10% close ratio, I bring 30 leads in per month. That's three three deals per month at two hundred thousand, which is about six hundred thousand dollars in sales, and then three percent is about eighteen grand, and then minus I did eight minus eight thousand dollars, which gives you ten thousand dollars in prop in net mm -hmm. income. And and when you say leads, those are actually warm leads because of that funnel. You take these cold yep. people from the top, and as they get down through, when they come out the bottom, they're actually warm or maybe even hot. Yep, exactly. I know it, with one of our chat bots that we have set up, it has a 120 day follow up. So they'll come into the sequence in 120 days. They'll be getting some educational messages and everything like that just to kind of warm up the prospect even more. So that way that's 100 and that's 120 days that the real estate agent doesn't have to sit out there, call them, send postcards or whatever they have to do to warm themselves up. And another fact that I got when I was reading the book, the human brain can only remember about seven different brands of a certain product. So there's real estate agents. You can only remember about seven different real estate agents in your market on the top of your head. Right. And being able to follow up like that every single day for 120 days, you're, you're pretty much guaranteed to be at the top of their mind because they're always getting the messages from you. And that's just it. you got to get above the noise because there's all sorts of Trump tweets and cat videos and cookie <laughs> recipes and all this other stuff that's hitting you from all sides of social media. Yep, so, exactly. Yeah, that, that's the interesting thing about the Internet. Back when I was marketing, it was about broadcasting and reaching a big audience. Now yep. the, the audience is there. It's about narrow casting and like a funnel and getting them to like, you know, like local. Now, this is a little sidebar, but. You're living here in Minneapolis or St. Paul now, yep. but you're moving to Florida. The cool thing is, is anybody that's here that's interested in working with you, you can still get it all done from Florida. Yep, exactly. That's what's really, really cool. In fact, if somebody wants to get their license in Florida, you can get some work done there and kind of cross-pollinate each other. 
Very cool. Yep, I've been doing a lot of my marketing efforts. Like I've been running all my um, paid ads and everything down in the Florida area where I'm going to be moving. And what I try to do is I try to have, I don't want to have a lot of people from one city just because then I'm, I'm fighting myself for the market. Right. Mm -hmm. And so I try to just maybe two people per city and just kind of, I have ads going in like Arizona, California, Minnesota, just different places where I'll get maybe one or two people from each area just so that way I'm not, like I said, I'm not fighting myself for no, the totally. market. Totally makes sense. It's kind of like, I mean, this is a sidebar thing, but the old multi-level marketing thing, in order yep. to get those things to work, you kind of have to have like 5,000 or 10,000 people in your team. And that's a lot of people to manage. Yeah. So I've Definitely. got a different philosophy that if you created a bunch of pods, you know, pods of seven, it would be easier to manage seven pods of seven than it would be a bunch of people. <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely agree with that. I know when I was doing network marketing, we would, we'd have just groups of 12. So we'd just pretty much just focus on the 12 people that are underneath of us. And mm -hmm. then they'd focus on the 12 people that are underneath them. Right. And just kind of go like that just so we're not trying to focus on, let's say we have like 300 people underneath of us. We're not trying to focus on all of them. We just try to kind of, what we train are the people under us, they'll train the people under them. But then when you actually get to the end, it's kind of like the, the telephone game where yep. <laughs> the training doesn't end up getting the same. And then that's when kind of bad trouble starts happening, like what happened with Herbalife. And people weren't really making money on that. They just they had like the big documentary on, I think it's on Netflix. Yep. That, that stuff happens all over. It's, it's reworking itself. I'm watching it from from a distance because it's it, the internet has just changed things from back in the day when those things first started and they yeah. had to do it linearly. Now I think things are growing organically and, and omnidirectional. Yep. Now, I mean, I know there's a, there's a lot of people on my Facebook friend list that really, they, they really like network marketing and everything like that. I'm a little bit more introverted and I, I kind of tried it out a little bit and I, I didn't find any success for myself, but we're in the same boat there, my friend. Um, I'm, I'm sort of a, I'm a Gemini, so I'm an introvert extrovert. I get on the stage and I do my deal, but when I'm done, give me my check. I'm going home, be by myself. So, but same kind of way. I can't. It, I, I've grown small teams, but trying to keep them people together, it's like herding cats and all that stuff, and I just get frustrated. So that's why I've turned to this online world and the internet lifestyle. It just yep, seems uh, easier. I'm right there with you. I, I love doing everything. <laughs> behind the computer but like if I have to go make a cold call or something like that I gotta have somebody else do it for me just because I don't it's not that I don't like being like rejected or whatever it's just I'm really not <laughs> confident in my ability to talk to people that I don't really know with, like, with me like it's a, it's not even that it's the it's the dealing with the voicemails or the busy signals or the getting yeah. cut off or, or dialing a wrong number. It's all that stuff that it's not effective. Yep, that, that's true as well. I know I just put a couple posts in a couple different Facebook groups looking for somebody that is willing to start making cold calls for me just so that way I can kind of get a little bit more deals going. And I figured if they can get 13 deals per month, then I'd it'd be about 15% commission per deal plus $500 a month in salary. I mean, it's, it's definitely a good incentive for them to come on the team and everything like that. It's just, I don't want to make the cold calls myself and I'd I rather just you. have somebody that's good at them and knows how to do them, do them. Well, before I want to shorten this up a little bit and we'll be done with it. But if you want to stay on after, I'd like to talk to you further about this stuff, but I want to share a, a strategy that I've been using that you might be able to use in your local market if you do video oh. stuff. And then I want to find out uh, how do we get a hold of you if we want to uh, work with you to, to get things done. So here's the, the thing that I was doing is I, I live in Minnetonka and next to Ridgedale Mall, there's a big water tower, a Minnetonka water tower there. Yep. And right along there is 394. So that everybody that goes to work is driving past that water tower in Ridgedale every single day. Yep. So I would do a video in front of those two landmarks. Oh. And then I would boost it to a five mile radius or ten mile radius of my zip code. So now the familiarity of that place it, it increases the trust factor so they know I'm not some fifteen year old kid in Sri Lanka screwing around the internet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you'd be able to use something like that at your uh, with your local real estate stuff. Increase the trust factor.
yeah, I'll definitely have to give that a go. I was just writing down my website. Yeah, so how do we get a hold of you? Because it it's a, it's, I mean, it's not really like confusing or anything, but so it's uh, Anucci Dash Marketing dot com. Yep. I will put the link physically in the the blog post. What I do with these, I put them up to YouTube. And then I put them on a blog post, and then we can share them synergistically, and that's how it works. One hand okay. washes the other. Okay. Okay, if you want to stay on, I'd like to chat further with you. Other than that, I'm going to beam this up, put it in the can, and put it out to the universe. Thanks, Michael. Sounds good.